everybody. Um, happy Wednesday night. Um, today is going to be episode 11 of McDonald's. And, um, I wasn't going to make it because I'm extremely tired, but I'm making it. So, tonight I'm going to talk about well, last I left off is how they made me a manager, like, overnight. And then, I'll just tell you, I... I worked there as a manager for, like... From... Just give me a minute to think. I was a manager from 1999 till 2010 at that store in Brookfield. And I got really, really good at what I did. But I pretty much closed every day. I would work 2 to close, which is 2 to 11.30. And, um, it was fine. I, I had a routine every day. And, um, uh, I had the same people working with me every night. And... Like, all the crew people, I was their favorite manager. Like, everybody loved me. I respected everybody. And what they liked me about me the most is I was always on the floor working. Because a lot of the managers are lazy and they just don't care. And, um... So... About... In 2010... The supervisor, who's in charge of four stores, she's the boss of the head manager at four stores. She came in one day and said, Tammy, I need to speak with you. And I was like a little worried because I didn't know if I was in trouble for anything. I didn't think I did anything wrong. She's like, come out in the lobby. I'll be out there. You can meet me out there. And then I went out there and she's like, Tammy... Uh, we're opening up a brand new store in Delafield, and I would like you to come open it with us. And in my head right away, I'm like, I've been here 13 years. I'm used to this place. I don't want to go anywhere. And that's a 20 minute drive from my house when the, the McDonald's I worked at was only seven minutes. And she's like, it'll be a good opportunity for you. And if you do good... We will promote you in two months. And then I just said, I need a night to sleep over on it. And I'll tell you tomorrow. So I thought about it. And then I decided, maybe change is good for me. So when I got to work the next day, I looked at where her phone number was. And I called her. And I told her that I would do it. And she's like, Tammy, I'm so excited. She's like, you have so much potential, and you are so good at what you do. She was just complimenting me, and I feel good it was coming from a supervisor. Now, let me tell you something. When you are an hourly manager, and that's what I was, you can't get transferred. You can always, you're always stuck at the same store. If you move up the salary... They can transfer you at any time. But I was hourly and they asked me the question to go and I said yes. So I went. And they said, and she said you would only have to be there two months. And then you, I would get promoted. So I went there. I was really nervous because the first time I went there we had like a whole store meeting. And there's a, tons of employees. And all these different managers I've never seen. I think like eight of them. Because they were all going to work there. And I'm like, oh my god. I was kind of freaked. And, um... So I went there. Went to the meeting there. And some of the managers were trying to make me feel comfortable. Because I was newer. And, um, the store was just beautifully made. Um, it had a double drive through, a big parking lot, and we had 90 employees. Like, I don't know of any other store that has 90 employees. It's the third busiest McDonald's in Wisconsin. 
We have a lot of one-time customers because it's right off the freeway. So people stop there to eat or use the bathroom. And then they're on their way, way and we don't see them come back. But we did have some regular customers that lived in the area. And, um... So it was a new start for me. I started working there. The first week I worked there, they didn't leave me alone, like the clothes or anything. They always had two clothing managers because they expected that place perfect every night when we first opened that brand new store. So they would have a higher up manager, a salary manager there and like me. And we closed at 2 a.m. And I didn't have to go in until 7 p.m. And then, um, all the employees were just excellent workers. Like, I don't know if they worked at the old store before they built the new one, but a lot of them just knew what they were doing. And then we had a grand opening. And, like, the radio, the radio came there. And, um... We had some kind of special we were selling to the customers. And it was just rocking busy. Like, the drive through was just packed. The screen in the kitchen was just constantly full of orders. And we had to have, like, two people on meat because we, they couldn't keep up. And two people on fries. It was just so busy. And I was, like, petrified to, like, close the store myself. But, um... It was quite a thing having that grand opening. And then, um... So after two months of working there, they said I'll get promoted. And then in my head, I'm like, I'm going back to my old store because they said two months. Well, when two months came up, they're like, Tammy, we, you don't, we don't want you going back to your old store. We want you here. You're doing such a nice job. And they promoted me to, they have first assistant manager, second assistant, and third assistant. They jumped me ahead to second assistant. And that was fabulous. And, um, so, I don't know what else. But in my next video, I'm going to continue to talk about Delfield. Because believe it or not, I worked at five stores and that is my favorite store. I would work there anytime again. It's just fabulous. And it's gonna in a good neighborhood. And the kids that, that work there are very good workers. And I had 90 when I worked there. And the last I heard from, I, I'm in touch with an employee that works there. She said there's only 30 employees there. So I don't know why that place went downhill. And they can't find help, but that sucked. But um, that's all I got for you today. And episode 12 will come out in a few days. Bye.